so we are going to see about the training step we are just going to train the our deep learning image super resolution so this before jumping to the coding part we must understand which step we are going to take before coding the first is basically we have to just gather a data set so for data set we have to just collect a data set the one is basically we have to collect a low resolution and the one is basically a high resolution so what we know that we have the high resolution suppose you you want to uh, develop a deep learning module by uh, to upscale any images by the factor of 4 and we are using the uh, that is the image super resolution module so what we do we have the original ground truth image that's the image size suppose we have 800 cross 800 the dimension of that images so low resolution that is low resolution folder that should contain like 200 cross 200 like the, we can just divide that by the factor of 4 so that 200 cross 200 images can learn to upscale that to get into a high, the, the quality of that images will be 800 cross 800 basically you have the image size of two, or 200 cross 200 that is basically a low resolution and your targets will be 800 cross 800 that is your high resolution images in between them you are just using a deep learning model to reconstruct the every smaller pixel to a, high, a high, higher pixel for that you are just using upscale of the factor of 4 so that is basically you have two type of data set the one we call as a low resolution data set and the second is basically high resolution data set okay and the second is basically we know that every every uh, deep learning modules whenever we are just preparing so we have to just do some pre-processing either we can just go with the data augmentation or whichever so we can just do some scaling so that every images the dimension of images will be really the same or uh, whichever we want to do cr cropping whether it's random cropping horizontal cropping or whether we want to just rotate any images by the 90 degree 180 degree and then after we have to just perform a normalizing the images with the standard deviation as one the mean as zero so these all things are the pre-processing we are going to follow for every deep learning model we can just follow this this step and the third one is basically splitting a data set for the splitting a data set we need to split a data set into two parts. the one we call call as a training another we can just call as a validation so training training data set basically we need this set to train your model so you have just models you are just developing your models and whenever you are going to start the training of data set you need a data set of training and then after once you and then side by side you can just do the validation on the validated data set for that once your model is going to be trained you are going to go with the next step that is basically a uh, model uh, architecture so basically here i just said in the third step is basically we are just splitting a data set nothing about a training so we just split our data set into a training and the validation and so that we can just uh, once the your model will able to train or once the model has finished the training so that you can just see on the testing of validation data set how your model is going to perform and whether the model is going to give you the better result what it was giving in the training side so that was basically that's why we are just performing a splitting a data set the fourth is basically we are just defining a model architecture so model architecture is basically we are just creating any module so whether you are just creating a GAN module or whether you are just training a uh, we can just say residual modules or any deep convolution modules so we have to just define some modules for that that is basically models we can just say the architecture model we have to just define for that so that uh, that is basically we are just going to do in the fourth step and then after we are just going to do the model compiling this is a really the same step in the deep learning so once we have just built our model we need to compile our model basically what we do we have the loss function and we have the optimization so basically we have to just define the loss function which loss function we are going to use uh, for the mod uh, that is a model we have just defined and also the which optimizer we have just to use whether it is adam optimizer or whether it is a stochastic gradient descent whichever uh, optimizer you can use for the suitable for the specific model and then, then after we are just going to in the sixth step we are going to see about the training so once we have just done about defining your data set splitting your data set uh, normalizing your data set and then after you have just create your uh, model architecture 
then only and also you have this compiling of your model then only the lift is the training of your model so once we just give the command to train you the model so now what we do the, during the training time we are just going to give the input as low resolution images and then after we are just going to upscale in between them and to produce the models will produce a high resolution images it's like a self supervised machine learning it's like we already know about supervised unsupervised so there is also one kind we, we call it a self supervised we don't pass the target directly we whichever the models is going to generate that is basically model is going to generate a high quality images now we are going to match with the actual we have with the training data set so that we can just again in, uh, we will just calculate the loss we will do the back propagation and then after we will increase the accuracy again and we will just decrease the loss so it's simply in the training process what we do we just give the input as a low resolution images and then after we expect that the models will give generate us a high quality images or high uh, high resolution images and that's basically depends upon whichever upscaling factor we are going to use whether we are going to use for the upscaling factor of 2 4 or whichever it you are going to use and then after once you are just done with the training part we have the validation data set now with the validation data set you are going to check the model accuracy whether your model is going to perform really well for the real world images or validation images so you can just go with the uh, uh, evaluation of the module then after what we do uh, once you have just trained your models and, and now again you need to just tune your hyperparameter like you need to change some a uh, loss function you need, need to change some uh, we can just say learning rate or we can just define some other optimizer so this all thing we can just tune the even we can just tune the model architecture like we want to define more number of uh, layers and and number of layer then what we do we need to just adjust the parameter and then after again we need to compile and then after we start the training and then after again we just do this all thing step so that was about the training step we are just going to follow for the ma super resolution and only the dif- uh, really the difference with the whichever the deep learning models the training step is really the same only the difference is that we have a data set the data set has should be two kind of things the one is basically we have data set of the all the images will be a low resolution images and another Im- data set will be all the images that will be a high resolution images and there is more advanced technique during the training time also we can just uh, we can just decrease the quality of images by the factor of 4 this all thing we will see in the practical part most so this is the what about that tra- theoretical part about the training of the image super resolution that's all we'll see in the next video